ladies and gentlemen, true to the Gandhian ideals, which were so dear to the heart of Shri Jamnalal Bajaj, this foundation has done commendable work in the vital area of rural development. Despite significant industrialization, even today, the proportion of our people dependent on agriculture has declined only marginally since independence. At the same time, the share of agriculture in our national income has declined drastically from 50% at the time of independence to less than 25% now. As a result, the gap in per capita incomes and living standards between rural India and urban India has greatly widened, giving rise to increasing social tensions as well as violence in many parts of our country. We need, therefore, a multifaceted strategy to address this major societal issue of our times. First, we must adopt credible strategies to raise incomes and productivities of our farmers, particularly small and marginal farmers, and in particular those living under conditions of dry land and drought prone agriculture. Simultaneously, through adequate provision of basic needs and social services in our villages, we must create an environment where people will not be tempted prematurely to rush to our towns and metropolitan areas. One of the great Nobel laureates, Sir Arthur Lewis, used to say that the way to beautify a country's towns and cities is to start by beautifying its villages. I think in this area, there is, there has been a growing development deficit in our country, and we can ignore it at our own peril. At the same time, using the tools of modern science and technology, we must create opportunities of off-farm productive employment close to our villages. And in this context, the work of people like Dr. Rajvanshi assumes great importance. In the long run, of course, we must lay adequate emphasis on a pattern of industrialization which is labor intensive, which is environmental friendly, so that we can reduce the pressure of population on land, which is becoming oppressive in many parts of our country. But given modern technological trends, the scope for creating large-scale jobs through industrialization of the classical type may not be as large as is sometimes believed. All this, then, serves to emphasize the centrality of paying adequate attention to the promotion of integrated, so, so, integrated rural development on a holistic basis. The world clearly needs new pathways for bridging the yawning gap that now divides the small affluent minority and the vast majority of the world's population who live under deplorable social and economic conditions. Those who preach and practice violence have to be persuaded about the futility of their path. This requires that the quest for a more secure world must also include the search for a more just and more inclusive societies worldwide. Gandhiji's ideas, his philosophy, and the Gandhian way of life constitute a powerful lighthouse to lead us from the massive, massive darkness that surrounds us today to bright daylight of sunshine. 
Blessed are those who have spent all their life practicing Gandhiji's teachings. In this respect, the distinguished recipients of award this evening constitute powerful role models for our troubled world. They are a unique blend of spirituality and social commitment. Like the late Shri Jamnalal Bajaj, they are the true karma yogis imbued with the spirit of Nishkam Seva. I salute them and invoke God's blessings for them, as well as for the trustees of this foundation, so that they can all carry forward their noble work with still greater effectiveness and dedication in years to come. I thank you all for listening to me with patience.